Good evening and welcome to the benefits of Canterbury, St Dunstan, St Mildred and St Peter where you join us for our service of night prayer or Compline on Wednesday the 30th of August 2023. My name is John Morrison and I'm standing in for our rector, the Reverend Joe Richards and our curate, the Reverend Jenny Walpole. In the calendar of the Church of England today, we are asked to celebrate the life of John Bunyan, spiritual writer. Born at Elstow in Bedfordshire in 1628, John Bunyan was largely self-educated and used the Bible as his grammar. He read very few other books and they were all piously Protestant in nature. Yet he produced Pilgrim's Progress, probably the most original text of spiritual genius that century, telling the story of the man Christian on his journey through life to God. It was not written while he was a prisoner in Bedford Jail, as often stated, but during a confinement some years later. History tells us little of the man, but what is clear from his writings is that the salvation of the soul was what mattered most to him. He died on this day in 1688. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your Spirit and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Alleluia. Before the ending of the day, Creator of the world, we pray that you with steadfast love would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams defend our sight, from fears and terrors of the night. Tread underfoot our deadly foe that we no sinful thought may know. O oh, Father, that we ask be done through Jesus Christ, your only Son, and Holy Spirit, by whose breath our souls are raised to life from death. The refrain for Psalm 31 is, Into your hands I commend my spirit. Into your hands I commend my spirit. In you, O oh Lord, have I taken refuge. Let me never be put to shame. Deliver me in your righteousness. Incline your ear to me. Make haste to deliver me. Be my strong rock, a fortress to save me. For you are my rock and my stronghold. Guide me and lead me for your name's sake. Take me out of the net that they have laid secretly for me. For you are my strength. Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O Lord God of truth. Into your hands I commend my spirit. How abundant is your goodness, O Lord, which you have laid up for those who fear you, which you have prepared in the sight of all for those who put their trust in you. You hide them in the shelter of your presence from those who slander them. You keep them safe in your refuge from the strife of tongues. Blessed be the Lord, for he has shown me his steadfast love when I was at a city as a city besieged. I had said in my alarm, I have been cut off from the sight of your eyes. Nevertheless, you heard the voice of my prayer when I cried out to you. Into your hands I commend my spirit. Love the Lord, all you his servants, for the Lord protects the faithful, but repays to the full the proud. Be strong, and let your heart take courage, all you who wait in hope for the Lord. Into your hands I commend my spirit. 
Lord Jesus Christ, when scorn and shame besiege us and hope is veiled in grief, hold us in your wounded hands and make your face shine on us again, for you are our Lord and God. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. Our short script to reading this evening is taken from the first letter of Peter, chapter 5, verses 6 and 7. Humble yourselves, therefore, unto the mighty hand of God, so that he may exalt you in due time. Cast all your anxiety on him, because he cares for you. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. Our gospel canticle is the Nunc Dimittis, Song of Simeon. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may rock, watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. Save us, O Lord, while waking and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ and asleep may rest in peace. Gracious God, we thank you for being part of our lives as we go about our daily tasks. We pray that all those who are living in fear this night from violence or just loneliness are comforted by your Holy Spirit and touched by your divine grace. And we pray also for all those who are involved in trying to establish peace in this world, that they may succeed where the expectations are low. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. God of peace, who called your servant John Bunyan to be valiant for truth, grant that as strangers and pilgrims we may at, last, at the last rejoice with all Christian people in your heavenly city. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep, for you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. The Lord bless us and watch over us. The Lord make his face shine upon us and be gracious to us. The Lord look kindly on us and give us peace. Amen. Thank you for joining us this evening. Uh, my colleagues will be with you tomorrow morning at nine o'clock for a Thursday service of broadcast morning prayer and then again at six o'clock for night prayer Compline. Have a safe and comfortable night. Good night. <laughs>